वॉइस किस यहाँ से हो रहा है म्यूट करो ये वॉइस इज गुड यू कैन स्टार्ट या ओके सर नमस्ते एवरीवन जैसे आप लोग को मालूम है हम पिछले कल से मतलब कल से हम लोग रोज शाम को पांच बजे मिलते हैं सॉरी आज थोड़ा सा डिले हुआ टेक्निकल ग्लिच था तो आज हमारे साथ में यशवंत पागनिक सर हैं यशवंत पागनिक सर को अगर हम बोलेंगे किचन इंडस्ट्री का भीष्म पितामह बोला जाता है पागनिक सर को लगभग तीस साल का मॉडर किचन इंडस्ट्री का एक्सपीरियंस है इनको ब्लूम जैसा सबको मालूम है कि आप लोग को ब्लूम इज अ वर्ल्ड नोन हार्डवेयर कंपनी इन मॉडर किचन सो पागनेश सर को ब्लूम को इंडिया में लाने का इंट्रोड्यूस करने का ड्रॉ सिस्टम्स को इंट्रोड्यूस करने का श्रेय अगर किसी को जाता है तो यशवंत पागनेश सर को है और काफी सालों से यशवंत पागनेश सर किचन इंडस्ट्री में है अगर मैं इनके बोलूं तो इनके क्लाइंट लिस्ट में रतन टाटा जैसे बड़े बड़े नाम इनके क्लाइंट लिस्ट में हैं काफी बड़े लोगों के किचन इन्होंने डिजाइन किए हैं और बनाए हैं सो प्लीज वेलकम यशवंत पागनी सर मैं यशवंत पागनी सर को रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि प्लीज स्टार्ट योर प्रेजेंटेशन और हमारे जो यंगस्टर्स आ रहे हैं इस इंडस्ट्री में नए आ रहे हैं मॉडर फर्नीचर में या मॉडर किचन में या इंटीरियर डिजाइनिंग में तो प्लीज सर यशवंत सर मैं आपको रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा प्लीज उनको गाइड करिए और हाउ दे कैन मेक देयर करियर इन मॉडर किचन इंडस्ट्री और मॉडर फर्नीचर इंडस्ट्री और इंटीरियर इंडस्ट्री अगर और थोड़ा सा एलोब्रेट करेंगे उसको तो वो कैसे अपना करियर कर सकते हैं एंड पिछले कुछ दिनों में मॉडर किचन इंडस्ट्री कैसी चेंज हुई है उसके बारे में भी थोड़ा सा आज हम उनको गाइड करिए सर ओवर टू यू सर यस वी कैन स्टार्ट थैंक यू भरत भाई फॉर नाइस इंट्रोडक्शन modular kitchen evolution is the thing which we are talking about this evolution started in india around 1995 96 when we started importing the kitchen drawers for the first time into the country there was one kitchen manufacturer who was recognized as a proper kitchen manufacturer and in entire mumbai there were two kitchen galleries from there you can see where the industry has come now there has been a big evolution and there has been a big need which has been fulfilled by this industry we can go for the next slide yes this was the kitchen as it is looked around 100 years back it still looks the same in interior india at many places the kitchen had no need of storage because you could pluck the vegetables from your garden or you can catch the hen from your uh, veranda bring it into the kitchen and cook it that was the very simple kitchen in the earlier days there was no storage need there was no much of complication there were not many dishes to be made the life was much simpler okay next this is the kitchen in the earlier days how the modular kitchen looked this is around 1930s it started basically in europe the evolution of modular kitchen started because the cooking style changed there were chulas all around the world earlier then came the gas and then came the need of storage of different utensils different uh, vegetables different grains and that is how the storage need started earlier people used to sit and cook now people stand and cook so the kitchen platform came the kitchen drawers came the storage cabinets came that is how the kitchen started looking different this is the timeline of kitchen the cooking gas was really uh, invented long time back around 1826 but really came into use around 1912 then came the refrigerator then came the ovens then came microwave dishwashers and as far as the hardware is concerned the auto closing hinges ball bearing runners baskets single wall drawer double wall drawer all that came into the uh, use and in india all this started around 1996 now modular kitchen i call it like an orchestra 
like you have different instruments in orchestra which are played in unison to make a proper song in kitchen you have different constituents which make the kitchen all these constituents have to be in sync with each other for the kitchen to be functional usable and uh, pleasurable for the user we will get into each of these constituents separately now what is modular kitchen i think i missed the earlier slide modular kitchen is basically a kitchen in which all the cabinets are separate every cabinet has got left right back top bottom and the front and each cabinet is separate so that is how the modular kitchen is the most important three things in the modular kitchen are hob sink and refrigerator they form the triangle of working when you are working in the kitchen these three things play the most vital role so you need to place them in such a way that you are accessing them without any much of hassle in india around 50 to 60% of the kitchens are having a stone platform ready so the bottom part of the kitchen is many times not modular people are reluctant to break the platform because they don't want to uh, do the new investment or they don't want to lose the platform which is already there and that is why you have to construct the kitchen around the stone platform which is already there so i would call it a semi modular kitchen in case of a stone platform when it is ready you need to take care that the stone is properly covered with marine ply partitions so that when you are mounting the hardware it is not mounted on the stone but it is mounted on the ply stone doesn't have strength to retain the screws so if you directly put hardware into the stone even if you are using rawal plug your hardware will get loose after some time and when you are using marine ply it is also necessary that you have covered it on all sides including the edges on sides by high pressure laminate and the edges by edge banding so that there is no moisture ingress into the ply so this is how the base cabinet looks like of a modular kitchen and a wall cabinet of the modular kitchen i have given a photograph of modular kitchen wherein these three parts of the kitchen are explained one is base another is wall and third one is loaf in india the storage has to be done in every inch of kitchen so loaf is a crucial part wherein people keep the things which are required once in a while or they store the things uh, which they may need sometimes in the loaf loaf loft is also necessary because if you don't make the loft there is lot of dust which keeps on getting accumulated on the walls uh, on the wall uh, cabinets which can affect the kitchen hygiene so loft is always a good idea now there has not been much of development since the first kitchen cabinet was made till today the cabinets look the same the basic development which has been taking place is in the materials which have been used in the fronts or the shutters of the kitchen the oldest material which was being used for the shutters is high pressure laminate and till today it is a work horse because around 70% of the kitchens are still made in high pressure laminate now in high pressure laminate there have been developments earlier there were only joint finish and high gloss now you have matte satin matte and super matte finish also then came the acrylic in acrylic you have high gloss and super matte you have 1 mm and 2 mm you have now back painted glass in again in that you have high gloss and matte finishes then you have pu coating you have sintered ceramic you have veneer you have real wood or stainless steel but remember all other materials except high pressure laminate still form 
around 30% of the kitchens made, 70% are still made in high pressure laminate only. Because it is economical, easy to maintain, and there are a lot of colors and finishes available in high pressure laminate. I'm just running through a few examples of kitchen. This is a back painted kitchen. This is without handles. I will explain uh, how the development of uh, the surfacing material has taken place. Earlier when the laminate was being used, handles were very friendly to be used because they were adding to the finish or the decor of the kitchen. When acrylic and uh, uh, back painted glass came into being, the handle became an eyesore. So people started avoiding visible handles on the surface because they wanted to enjoy the seamless surface of glass and acrylic. And that is where people started using profile handles like G handles or J handles. And in last 15 years, a, 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 a new concept called Gola profiles has come into being wherein the handle is not on the shutters at all. It is a profile which is mounted on the cabinets, which forms the recess to open the drawers or those shutters. This is a back painted glass kitchen without Gola profiles with pull grip handles. Pull grip handles have come around 12 years back and they are very popular because they have a legs exposure on the surface and they complement acrylic and back painted glass. As you can see in this kitchen, it is not, sorry, can you go back? Uh, uh, as you can see in this kitchen, it is not only glass which has been used on the surface, but a glass which has been used on the dado. Dado is the portion between the wall cabinets and the working platform. This portion is being used, uh, this portion is being decorated with glass. The reason being glass is very easy to clean. If there are splashes on the wall, uh, you can very easily clean uh, on the glass rather than on the tiles or on the stone. And it is quite durable also because it is uh, toughened six millimeter glass. Yes. Now this is high pressure laminate kitchen with Gola profiles. So you can use the oldest possible material which is there for the kitchen decor and blend it with a new concept of Gola and give it a new look. So you are marrying economy with aesthetics. Yes. Okay, this is again a high pressure laminate kitchen a example wherein uh, there are pull grip handles with curve. There are around six types of pull grip handles available. You can use them as per your need or uh, customer's wish. Now, this is the super mat laminate kitchen. As you can see, there is no reflection from the fronts. The entire light is being absorbed by the fronts and this is a modern look. The super matte laminates have come into being in last uh, seven to eight years only. <coughs> it's a very special process. Electron beam curing which is used to make a super matte laminate and it gives very high scratch resistance as well as fingerprint. Uh, they are not susceptible to fingerprints. This is a PU kitchen. So many times people want a country look on the kitchen. That is where this framing, external handles and a PU coating comes into uh, being. This is for antique or country look for the kitchen. World over, PU is the only material used there. Or the real wood. But real wood is not very popular in India. This is an acrylic kitchen with J handles. So here you are not using the Gola profiles, but you have a look of Gola profile because there is no handle which is protruding out from the surfaces.
so this is a very new concept which has come into being in last 3 years this is a floating kitchen in this kitchen the the entire cabinetry is modular and it doesn't touch the ground at all you need to use special fittings to suspend it on the wall and the wall need to have the strength to bear the weight of the cabinets with this uh floating kitchen concept the kitchen looks around 25% bigger for the same size of kitchen without floating and it gives idea to the visitors or to the guest of techno savvy owner of the kitchen you know see the entire kitchen development has taken place with a concept that kitchen is not only for cooking whenever somebody comes to your house whenever the guests are there the kitchen is a discussion point and the whole house revolves around kitchen and that is why kitchen gets maximum importance while making a house maximum time is spent and maximum amount is spent per square feet on the kitchen other than any other room in the house this is an island kitchen wherein uh, j handles have been used so you can see a very good look has achieved and it is using a high gloss laminate sorry this uh, slide has got little bit mixed up we can go for the next one okay uh, now i have explain the constituents of kitchen we have basically seen the base cabinets the wall cabinets and the loft cabinets but a kitchen needs to have different looks and it needs to accommodate different uh, kind of things so modular kitchen nowadays has a tall unit at least one tall unit is there in every kitchen to accommodate the appliances like oven microwave otg and they are contained into the uh, cabinet tall cabinets there is a photograph which i am showing in the next slide as you can see here on the left hand side you see a tall cabinet of appliances which has got built in appliances so there is no recess around the appliance the appliance is entirely built in into the uh, cabinet on the right hand side you will see that there is a, a microwave which has been just put into the cabinet with uh, gaps all around it definitely the first alternative is better but it's more expensive then you can see for the storage the inner drawers have been used to store crockery so this is the way you can make a storage unit by using drawers in tall cabinets no hinges is one of the most important parts of the kitchen because every door which doesn't have a drawer has to be opened with hinges now these hinges are auto closing hinges when you are closing the door the door doesn't need to be pushed till the end and they are all soft closing in nowadays most of the development of auto closing hinges has taken place in europe and because there is an association of manufacturers in europe they have decided that the hole which you have to make in the door will always be 35 mm so you can switch between the brands and still uh, use the same uh, boring which you are doing the screw distance is different for different brands the most popular being 45 48 and 52 mm screw distance now as i have shown earlier the first thing which was developed was ball bearing runner and baskets so kitchen were traditionally using ball bearing runner mounted baskets in the kitchen when we started with the drawers around 1996 99% of the kitchen had baskets and ball bearing runners because there was nothing else which was available 
the reason we started with drawers is around 1996 we made our own kitchen and we couldn't get the thing which we were seeing in the european uh, magazines that is how we started uh, looking for the suppliers of uh, drawers and we landed up bringing those drawers into the country today in my estimate at least 60 to 70% kitchens are being made with drawers instead of uh, baskets because drawers offer maximum uh, storage capacity ease of use and ease of storage this is the way the basket looks like okay Oh, I didn't add the photograph of drawers, but drawers organization is much better than what it looks in the basket. It has a steady base. The basket base is slightly wobbly, and if you are storing the containers mouth up, then in any case, drawer and uh, basket will give you the same way of storage, and uh, there will be better storage in the drawers. the next development after drawers was the corner unit because you have l c or u type of kitchen in which the corner was getting wasted and the development started of making of these corner units and the most two popular corner units are shown in the next slide the one on the left hand side is a swing tray it comes out and uh, goes inside with soft closing and the earlier generation of corner uh, solution was the magic corner however in magic corner the inner baskets always remain inside the cabinet in case of swing tray the whole uh, storage comes out for you so it is a better way of storage now you are looking at flap fittings this is one hardware which was developed outside uh, europe it got first developed in japan maybe because they have a very uh, small houses and small kitchen and also lesser height of the people so it was convenient for them to keep the flaps open and still work on work in the kitchen the one which is shown here is a bifold fitting which is a later development of a flap fitting which is shown in the next slide this is a flap fitting classically the most economical flap fitting is a gas spring and then all these modern fittings are available which gives you uh, uh, gives you better uh, opening and soft closing now you come to the counter top materials in case you are making a new kitchen not using the existing platform then you have various choices to make the counter top the workhorse of counter top is natural granite you can use natural marble but natural marble is not as reliable as natural granite there is a composite marble and now the most popular material which is getting uh, due recognition is artificial quartz because artificial quartz doesn't have much of porosity like a natural product it has a uniform grain and it also has better impact resistance there is another material which is very popular in expensive kitchens or modern kitchens that is solid surface the most popular being uh, from us however in india people are little bit uh, having some uh, reservations about uh, acrylic bonded uh, counter tops because of uh, reported uh, stain issue but it is not always there if you take proper care and uh, keeping hot containers on the surface in europe the most popular uh, material for counter tops is high pressure laminate the reason being in europe nobody washes the counter top it is just wiped so high pressure laminate counter tops are very popular there however in india you spend 4 hours in the kitchen europeans spend maybe 45 minutes in the kitchen so it is a more rigorous kitchen and in india most popular is 
stone, not uh, any other material, either granite or artificial quartz. Now, for handles, as I said, the earlier kitchens used to have full handles, then came the concealed handles, then came the profile handles, and now our Gola profiles. I have not been able to attach all the photographs. I will complete all the photographs and uh, give the updated presentation, which will be uploaded by Bharat Bhai. These are wicker baskets which are used in the kitchen basically for storage of onions, potatoes, garlic, coconuts, like that, which is not very, uh, drawer is not very friendly to <coughs> store these things because they need breathing and that is best provided by the natural wicker. When uh, you are using the kitchen, you need different implements to cook and to eat. To organize them, you need a cutlery tray. And the most popular cutlery tray is in stainless steel because you can take it out, wash it, and keep it back again. In the economical kitchens, you can use plastic cutlery tray. And now the most expensive cutlery trays are coming with engineering plastics wherein Engineering plastic like nylon is being used to make the cutlery, cutlery tray balls and they are also very easy to clean. This is an anti-skid mat. In every drawer, you need to put this to protect the base as well as for the contents not to bang against each other when the drawers are opened and closed. So this is a required accessory in a kitchen and not an optional accessory. You need to use them always with the drawers. Now, when you are making a kitchen, there are two types of countertop. Uh, there are two types of hobs you can use. One is where you make a recess on the platform and put the hob inside. So that is called as hop, or you can use a chula, which is the second picture. The chula is kept on the countertop without making a recess. And there is a hood of various kinds which are available now. Hood is basically for uh, smoke extraction when you are cooking, and it also adds to the decor of the kitchen. There are two types of hoods which are available, one which sucks in the smoke and uh, circulates the air within the kitchen or the one which has got an exhaust pipe and you can throw away the smoke outside the kitchen. Depending on what is available uh, as far as the design is concerned or the building is concerned, you can use either a circulating hob or a circulating hood or an exhaust hood. You need to add bottle pull out because earlier we didn't have Mexican, Chinese, and all kinds of things being made in the kitchen. They need different sauces to be used, and those sauces need to be stored in a proper bottle pull out soy sauce and this sauce, chili sauce, etc. So, bottle pull out is a standard feature in any kitchen nowadays. You can use them either out of uh, aluminium, or stainless steel combination or wire baskets or drawer based. But best ones are aluminum SS or drawer based pull outs. This is a waste bin. Earlier there used to be door mounted waste bins, but they have been replaced practically in every kitchen nowadays by these double bowl waste bins because you have to separate the hot, uh, the sorry, not hot, the dry and the wet uh, waste and keep them separately. So this is a standard accessory in any kitchen nowadays. This is the detergent pullout, which classically comes below the sink in which you can store all your uh, 
soaps or uh, powders which are used for utensil washing and the classic uh, they are still being made out of uh, wire baskets only that is the most economical and reliable solution for detergent pull out now when you are looking at the sink you have various options available in materials basically it is stainless steel or artificial quartz or uh, uh, you can make it out of granite itself then there are double bowl sinks there are single bowl sinks with drain board without drain board all these things are available now in refrigerator the first thing on the left hand side is the classic refrigerator which we saw for years together but now in case of self standing refrigerator that is the one which is uh, kept in the kitchen without any cabinet around it you have single door double door uh, with uh, water dispenser without water dispensers all those are there however in last few years there is a refrigerator called self uh, self sorry built in refrigerator which becomes a seamless look in the kitchen you don't know when you look at the kitchen where the refrigerator is because it is contained inside the cabinet so more expensive more trendy kitchens are now using uh, the built in refrigerator microwave i have shown you earlier either it can be self standing or built in the combo is basically because nowadays microwave and oven are getting mixed up you can have a oven inside microwave or a microwave inside oven so depending on what you are choosing you can go for it there are also steam ovens built in nowadays for making momos same situation with the ovens now lighting is a very essential part of the kitchen light doesn't give you only prakash that is light but it also gives you energy so if you have lighting in the kitchen you are your mood gets lift up and that is why the kitchen needs to have proper uh, lighting the lighting below the wall cabinet is a necessity and the lighting of gola profile in the loft or in the base cabinet is an addition which you can have your kitchen also looks little different and if you have a function or a few guests at home the kitchen gets lighted up and it is always a good uh, it always gives a good appearance a detergent holder is a cousin i think i have shown the detergent holder earlier by mistake it has come again sorry about it okay sir so i think our presentation is over now Uh, sir uh, we are getting few questions from uh, our viewers so first question is from mayank that he is uh, asking uh, the um, which is the costliest product uh, acrylic or uh, back painted glass or um, laminate finish uh, as you mentioned uh, nowadays anti scratch and anti fingerprints uh, laminates are also available so which is the costliest product yeah. and what you would recommend and yeah. what would you recommend? see it is uh, there is no recommendation of the surfacing material because the surfacing material entirely depends on two things what the customer is liking and what he is ready to spend okay so in europe there are price groups okay in india we are not using the price groups but i will use that europe can you go to the constituents uh, slide once so that you know that becomes the base for the discussion yes sir the, the first price group is high pressure laminate 
The okay. next price group is one millimeter acrylic and back painted glass and super matte laminate. And the third uh, price group is PU coating and two millimeter acrylic. And the most costliest uh, can be sinter ceramic, veneer, real wood, and stainless steel. So these are the four price groups which are there of the uh, shutter. So the most expensive, you can say, it is stainless steel, real wood, and veneer. Then comes uh, sinter ceramic and PU coating. Then comes back painted glass and acrylic. And high pressure laminate is always there. Okay. So now second question is from uh, Pooja, Pooja Sonaune. She's asking, uh, can you uh, please uh, give some more focus or can you elaborate the floating kitchen? How we can make and uh, um, uh, how, uh, um, what kind of hardware we can, we can uh, use for uh, making floating kitchen and how it is uh, practical. The floating kitchen is an idea which is, as I said, it's not a necessity, but it gives you a different look to the kitchen. The entire flooring can be seen. What you need to do is you need a specialized suspension fitting to mount the cabinets on the wall. This suspension fitting, I can get into the details when we are having another uh, session. These suspension fittings can carry up to 200 kgs of weight. So they carry the weight of the cabinet, the weight of the contents, and the weight of the stone at the top. And those cabinets are connected to each other to make a uh, complete platform, and you put a stone on it. When I made the first uh, floating kitchen, I made four people sit on the cabinet. And it took the weight of four people on a single cabinet. And that gave me the confidence to make that floating kitchen. And it is getting very popular because uh, we are around, we have made around half a dozen floating kitchens by this time in another, in last six months. So people oh. like that concept. The only necessity for floating kitchen is you have to have a kitchen without any platform. It has to be modular. So you have to have a room which is free to design a floating kitchen. It okay. can be done only with modular cabinets. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, the next and, question and, is from... And, and it is a yeah. little bit expensive. You can you have to spend around uh, 50,000 rupees only for the suspension uh, fittings. Okay. So who can spend uh, this much of amount? They can think of uh, the floating kitchens, correct? As I said, it is, it is, it, 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 it is only to give a different look. It gives a different impression about the owner of the house. Okay. Okay. So now so the... Everybody uh, who comes to your house will ask you, what is this? Okay. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. Uh, sir, one question was from ka. She was asking, what comes in your mind uh, first when you start designing a kitchen? So, what comes in your mind first when you kitchen designing a kitchen? It's a question of Working triangle. Work triangle. So can you elaborate about this work triangle, sir? Work triangle, you see what happens is the sink position in a yeah. kitchen is not decided by you. Okay. It is decided by the builder because he has, where he has given the sunk, you have to put the sink there only. Okay. Okay. So sink is something which is decided first. Then you decide on the hop position. And then you decide on the refrigerator position. Now, refrigerator normally comes at the start of the kitchen. The reason being, if you are getting up for a glass of water at night, you don't want to travel the entire kitchen inside and get the water. Okay, so refrigerator always comes at the start of the kitchen, either on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. And the hob and the refrigerator normally come on the opposite sides, not on the same side. And the sink may come on the same platform like hob so that you know every time you are washing and cooking washing and cooking so it becomes very easy okay so now the another question is from sneha which type of kitchen are mostly popular in india which type of kitchens means uh, 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 i can elaborate this question uh, 
the uh, shapes of kitchen she is asking about and the uh, modular or semi modular kind of kitchens so uh, she wanted to know see in 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 metros like mumbai parallel kitchen takes away around 60% of the kitchens okay so the kitchens are narrow the classic size of a mumbai kitchen is 8 by 10 okay so you know you you have to make uh, you have to make a parallel kitchen in mumbai when you go little bit away from uh, the main mumbai uh, this thing you go to pune or you go to nagpur or you go to uh, thane you have l kitchens and c kitchens and all those kitchens are available but in mumbai parallel kitchen is the most popular kitchen no modular or semi modular is again depending on when you are going in for a flat or when you are moving in into a place the kitchen which is there the platform which is there is in good condition or in bad condition if it is to be replaced it is always a better idea to replace with fully modular kitchen because the best looks are achieved by fully modular kitchen in case of stone platform you are again covering it up with uh, plywood uh, laminated plywood so you are losing little bit of space with modular kitchen you are getting little bit more space than covering up the stone platform with uh, partitions okay wonderful sir uh, questions to bahut sare aa rahe hain mere paas mein uh, aage ke questions lene ke pehle mera ek sawal hai sir can you tell us something uh, about uh, how you started this industry in india थोड़ा सा उसके बारे में कुछ बताइए सर जी वर्ड अगर हिंदी में बोलेंगे तो हमारे कुछ जो व्यूअर्स हैं वो हिंदी स्पीकिंग है अगर हिंदी में बोलेंगे कि आपने इस इंडस्ट्री को इंडिया में लाने का श्रेय आपको है सो हाउ यू स्टार्टेड दिस इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया थैंक यू थैंक यू हिंदी में मैं बताता हूं अराउंड 1995 हमने हमारा किचन बनाया और उस जमाने में मैं फ्रीक्वेंटली जर्मनी जाता था और मैं ऐसे कंपनी में काम कर रहा था कि जो कंपनी फर्नीचर से इनडायरेक्टली रिलेटेड थी और मैं उधर जर्मनी का जो फर्नीचर कॉर्नर है हनोवर के आसपास वहां विजिट करता था तो हमने देखा था वहां की जर्मन किचन उधर मैं दे हैड अ फैसिनेशन फॉर इंडियन कुकिंग सो ऑलवेज ऑन ए सैटरडे एंड संडे one or the other german used to invite me for cooking in his house <laughs> wonderful okay so mm. when i used to go there and cook in their kitchen i used to see the kitchen accessories and kitchen systems are entirely different than what we were using in india and around that time my wife also decided to leave her bank job and uh, start something so we thought if we are not getting what we need for the kitchen there may be many other people who are not getting what they are requiring and that is how we brought these companies into india it was easy in those days because there was nobody else in the country so those companies which came in were very happy to come in because they were getting an opening into the country and they didn't have an idea about the indian market or the indian uh, scene so we brought the drawers the carousels the halogen lights and the baskets and the magic corners and all that so all entire paraphernalia which is required to make a kitchen we brought it here because we couldn't get it in india so it is like need is the mother of invention so that is how all these companies came into india okay wonderful ek aur sawal hai sir nilesh patil ka He is asking. Um, uh, normally, nowadays uh, we are using tandem drawers uh, in kitchen. So, what kind of drawers they are? Uh, can you elaborate on uh, the tandem drawers? Look here. I am very happy when somebody says tandem drawers. Okay, the reason being not because of anything else, but that word has become like bislary of drawers. आप जब आपको पानी चाहिए रहता है तब आप उसको मिनरल वाटर देना करके नहीं बताते हो आप बताते हो बिस्लेरी देना उसके बाद में वो आपको एक्वाफिना देता है या दूसरा कोई पानी देता है लेकिन आप मानते बिस्लेरी हो तो ये टैंडम वर्ड जो चिपका हुआ है ड्रॉवर के साथ इज बिकॉज वी लॉन्च दैट ड्रॉवर इन टू द कंट्री फर्स्ट 
and today everybody is selling whatever is their trade name or whatever is their this thing by the name people are asking tandem uske baad mein jiska drawer lene ka hai wo le leta hai ab ye drawer kyu taiyar ho gaya kyunki jab aap baskets use karte the tab baskets ka closing ball bearing runner pe hota tha aur ye ball bearing runner do char saal ke baad खराब होता था या ड्रॉवर बाउंस बैक होता था और उसमें जो चीजें रखी जाती थी वो भी थोड़ी वॉबली रहती थी तो सर जब ड्रॉवर चालू हो गए तब पहला ड्रॉवर जो चालू हो गया वो सिंगल वॉल ड्रॉवर था <laughs> और ये जो टैंडम ड्रॉवर है ये डबल वॉल ड्रॉवर है और इसके अंदर नीचे से रनर लगता है और उसमें सॉफ्ट क्लोजिंग रहता है तो क्लासिकली आप जब किचन में काम करते हो तो तब ड्रॉवर खोलते हो आपको जो चाहिए वो चीज निकालती हो और ड्रॉवर को बंद करते हो तो आप उठाते उठाते ड्रॉवर को पुश कर सकते हो और उसकी वजह से आपको डबल एक्शन की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती है कि पहले चीजें उठा के प्लेटफॉर्म के ऊपर रखो बाद में बंद करो ओके और इससे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बहुत ईजी हो गया अभी क्लासिकली in a kitchen you are using either a two drawer combination or a three drawer combination to so, pehle drawer mein aap sab masala dabba ya cutlery wagera rakhte ho so the first drawers are always used the maximum next drawer mein aap choti utensils rakhte ho jisme chai banana hai ya sabji banana hai wagera wagera and third drawer mein you are keeping the pressure cooker or the idli cooker which you are requiring once in a day or twice in a day so the organization has become very easy and functional and this is thanks to the drawers okay so can you sir ek uh, bas uh, uh, now we are running uh, to the conclusion so uh, sir one more question uh, can you uh, tell us something uh, unique experience uh, uh, since you are in this industry any any unique uh, experience which you have um... i will i will i will tell you a classic story yeah please when i sold the first drawer mm-hmm. uh, to a bangalore fellow he called me up one day that pagnes bhai agar main niche ka drawer nahi kholta hu to mera upar ka drawer bahar hi nahi aata hai <laughs> okay तो मैंने पूछा भाई ऐसे कैसे हो सकता है तो तभी सिंगल वॉल ड्रॉवर ज्यादा पॉपुलर था क्योंकि डबल वॉल ड्रॉवर बहुत ज्यादा एक्सपेंसिव था आज भी है लेकिन पीपल एक्सेप्टेड दैट कॉस्ट एंड सिंगल वॉल ड्रॉवर इज दिस फ्रॉम द किचन तो मैंने उसको पूछा कि भाई क्या कर रहे हो जरा मेरे को एक फोटोग्राफ भेजो तो उन्होंने मेरे को फोटोग्राफ भेजा उसमें उन्होंने ड्रॉवर के बॉटम को ड्रॉवर के नीचे से लगाया था तो दिस वाज़ द लेवल ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दिस ड्रॉवर्स ओके ओके तो जो ऊपर से लगना चाहिए बॉटम उसको नीचे से लगाया हुआ था अच्छा तो फ्रॉम देयर वी हैड टू एक्सप्लेन टू एवरीबडी हाउ टू यूज दिस ड्रॉवर्स बिलीव मी वी हैड टू मेक सिक्स सिक्स पेज एडवर्टीजमेंट इन सोसाइटी इंटीरियर एंड इन आउटसाइड for people to be convinced about drawers instead of baskets to unhone hum wahan humne dikhaya logo ko ki kitchen mein kya kya store hota hai aur kaise kaise store hota hai aur kaise kaise store ho sakta hai usme sabse zyada ye tha ki logo ko lagta tha ki basket pani ko kha leta hai ya pani ko disappear karta hai तो वो वैसे नहीं था हमको उनको स्केचेस बना के बताना पड़ा कि भाई आप जब उल्टा बर्तन रखते हो ड्रॉवर में तब तो वो पानी नीचे गिरता है और वो आप ही साफ करते हो तो इससे अच्छा है आप बर्तन पोच के माउथ आप ड्रॉवर में रखो बास्केट का उसमें कोई एडवांटेज नहीं है तो ये सब करके एग्जीबिशन में पार्ट लेके लोगों को दिखा के फिर ये चीज पॉपुलर हुई है कभी तो पच... ये ये अपना ट्वेंटी सिक्स ईयर है ड्रॉवर का इंडिया में सिल्वर जुबली ईयर ऑफ ड्रॉवर इन टू द कंट्री 
and as i as you mentioned in the start even the most popular known industrialist in india in his kitchen in alibag asked me why this drawer is so atrociously expensive okay from that we have come to a common man using the drawers into the kitchen so it is a big 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 achievement of the market yes sir and now a uh, uh, last question i am taking from uh, lata sharma so uh, she is asking uh, what about dust floating uh, dust in floating kitchens uh, on the on the uh, counter top so uh, she is saying ki if we make uh, floating kitchen there will be a lot of dust and uh, there will be a lot of um, uh, dust accumulate on the counter top or under the top so how we oh, will manage no, no. in fact it is ulta okay जो फ्लोटिंग किचन है वो ज्यादा हाइजेनिक है देन द किचन विच इज सिटिंग ऑन द ग्राउंड बिकॉज द मैक्सिमम डस्ट गेट्स एक्यूमुलेटेड ऑन द एट द बेस ऑफ द किचन नॉट एट द काउंटर टॉप काउंटर टॉप यू आर क्लीनिंग थ्री टाइम्स अ डे सुबह में क्लीन करते हो खाना बनाने के बाद क्लीन करते हो शाम को क्लीन करते हो तो काउंटर टॉप के ऊपर कुछ होता नहीं है लेकिन जो किचन का बेस है उसके नीचे जो डस्ट एक्यूमुलेट होता था दैट इज कंप्लीटली अवॉइडेड बाय द फ्लोटिंग किचन यू कैन एक्चुअली डू अ झाड़ू बिलो द कैबिनेट एंड क्लीन इट प्रॉपरली ओके सो फ्लोटिंग किचन इज मोर हाइजेनिक देन द क्लासिक मॉड्यूलर किचन विथ अ प्लिंथ विच इज सिटिंग ऑन द लेक ओके और उसके नीचे कॉकरोचेस या जो कुछ भी जीवित प्राणी किचन में घूमते रहते वो भी छिप नहीं सकते very good jo because the area below the cabinet inside the skirting can become a cockroach colony within no time okay because yes. they need humid atmosphere and they need closed atmosphere so the floating kitchen is more hygienic okay so thank you very much sir uh, jaise aap log ne sabne suna uh, yashwant partner sir ne bahut sare यू नो सेलिब्रिटीज का इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट का किचन डिजाइन किए हैं और किचन बनाए हैं ही हैज दी आई कैन से यशवंत पागने सर इज द मोस्ट एक्सपीरियंस पर्सन इन मॉडुलर किचन इंडस्ट्री सो थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर गिविंग यूर प्रिशियस टाइम एंड गाइज टुमारो अगेन विल मीट एट फाइव पी एम विद द न्यू गेस्ट विथ न्यू चैप्टर न्यू सब्जेक्ट एंड thank you once again for joining us thank you yashwant sir for your precious time sir thanks a lot for inviting me and it's a pleasure joining this session yes sir yes sir all the best all to the, everybody yes sir bahut acha laga aapke sath baat karke sir aaj and uh, definitely uh, i can say uh, itna ek ghanta is uh, um, not uh, enough time to discuss the subject humko aur bhi time chahiye hai so definitely we will discuss some other day and uh, thank you very much sir for your time Thank, Thank you very much. much.